travel east behind the disturbing Iron Curtain, and it's difficult to leave behind any Western sense of luxury and relaxation. Romania has it all, because it's only a treadmill life for the thoroughbreds who flex their highly trained limbs before the start of a Bucharest trotting afternoon. A thousand miles behind that east-west barrier, and you can have a flutter on the favourite. Political barriers mean nothing when you see jockeys harnessing up for the big race. Gambling's a real international habit, and the punter or trainer who has a keen eye for a good horse doesn't change much from country to country either. Leveling out the track before the race is always necessary, and when it's hot and dusty, there's a mobile sprinkler trundling around. Such a leaky museum piece doesn't look capable of finishing the course before the flag drops. Trotting figures high on the popularity list with the Romanian sports fan. Tracks in the major cities are often packed to capacity, and there's always an enthusiastic turnout when the trotters make a trip up-country to some of the smaller towns. And like any day at the races, it's always the bookie who has the last laugh. Western influences stretch beyond the racetrack and into the traffic-free shopping centres, which, despite their space-age design and practicability, never shut out tradition. New buildings are adorned with colourful murals, a reminder of an age when intricate frescoes were painted on church walls to spread the Christian story. Five hundred years later, and the frescoes still show little damage from the often severe climate. No one has yet discovered how the monks of Moldavia managed to create such long-lasting evidence of a Christian settlement in the communist world. Without being told, it's difficult to decide how far east you've travelled in this seemingly western world. It's even harder picking